Well, Michael Bonaccini's herb of choice is rosemary. Rosemary, So yes. you are going to be making this fantastic uh, recipe here. We've got pan-roasted branzino and white mm, beans. We do. Really good, complete meal. It is, and that's what I thought about it. Would, I could use rosemary in both pieces, and then they come together as a finished dish. Right. And I think this is fairly uh, a classic uh, Mediterranean style of cooking, yeah. because that's where this herb is, is from. And it grows yeah. prolifically in Europe, which well, is great. Well, apparently, uh, I've been given some notes from our producer. So as you mentioned, it is native to the Mediterranean region. It's a member of the mint family, but apparently it's not so crazy. Because the mint is crazy, but the rosemary is a little bit more contained. And it's, it's strange when, when they tell you that you know uh, rosemary is connected to mint. You sort of scratch your head and say, how does that work? How is that possible? Not even the same taste and flavor. Yeah. But I guess genetically they are, uh, they yeah. are, are connected. Well, think about your family. How many of your family oh, members yes. are Both really plans. the same? <laughs> <laughs> You know what I'm saying? I'm not connected to these two. Yeah. <laughs> I may wear a yeah. white jacket. Yeah, that's about it. But that's where the connection ends. <laughs> so cooking white beans, really easy to do. I'm adding a little bacon to the bottom of the pan. Mm -hmm. Just to <laughs> fry that up. He's got the right ingredients. Yeah. Did you hear the agreement? Yes. moment. <laughs> <laughs> So uh, you would normally just fry this up a little bit, but even when you cook beans, you don't have to fry it up, which is, makes it that much easier again. But I've decided to do that. Okay. A little garlic and onions, just half garlic in there, because this is going to cook for a good hour and a half or two with the onions. Just you sweat those down fussy a touch. About cutting the onions. Nothing yeah, complicated. The garlic. Very much. That's right. <laughs> that's, gonna, that's, gonna work. <laughs> that's right. We're going to add a, uh, a bay leaf and a couple of peppercorns. Mm -hmm. And again, black peppercorns go really well with uh, with rosemary. Peppercorn right. and rosemary seem to be, again, heaven, uh, a match made in heaven. I like to add some just coarse cut up carrots. Very nice. Give that a quick fry up. Whilst well, you give like that pledge. a stir. Smell yeah, like pledge? Right. Smells like pledge. <laughs> <laughs> Are you dissing his rosemary? Is that, what ha is that what's happening now? I feel like he's got like, you know, I'm going to take my beans. Uh, I'm busy right now. He's just, back to you. Just trying to cook. <laughs> Which I have soaked in cold water overnight. Mm -hmm. You could do it as little as four hours. That just speeds up the cooking process. Can and we ever just speed up that process a lot and get beans in a can? <laughs> 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 uh, what you could do possible? if you were to cook all of your basic roots and flavorings and garlic down. Then you could probably add the can of beans, let it simmer for half an hour, okay. and it would be He'll pretty allow good. It. I will He'll allow it in a pinch. In a pinch. Wash the beans though out of the can. You have to wash it. Okay, oh, fine. Yeah. Yes, get that. Oh, wash the beans. That uh, stodgy. Just say yes, it's easier yeah. for everybody. Now, all right, it's all right. <laughs> oh, it's just easy now. I'm not gonna cook for four hour beans at home. At the restaurant, oh, I do. Come but on. <laughs> anyway, I'm using northern beans here, okay. which uh, are grown in Canada. You can use uh, cannelli beans, you can use uh, dried fava beans, lima beans, any bean you wish. Whatever you make bean sure, you like. That's right. They're you make so sure you cover beans. it with just enough water, about an inch over the top. Let that simmer away. You season with a little salt. Okay. And that you let cook for, I would say, an hour and a half, two hours. Depending on how long the beans have soaked, is that segment and how the segment? Yeah, an hour and a half. Start for the segment? Early. I already Start got six early. minutes. <laughs> is the point here? Okay, oh, now the fish. Oh, let me show you. Oh, let me turn this down. Yeah. Just because that's bubbling away a little too much, my fish, gentlemen. Right Put there. it on the. That's it. Beautiful. Now, what kind of fish have you chosen? This is a branzino, which again is a European species of sea bass. This mm -hmm. is cultivated. Absolutely beautiful fish delicate. We're going to cook it on the bone, which is the best way to do it. Yeah. This was a large fish when it came in this morning, about 20 ounces, so I just cut it down to uh, a one portion <laughs> size. <laughs> shrunk or something. Like, otherwise, that could be family size. You're hungry or something, you just kept eating away, you got swollen, swollen. <laughs> So, all I'm going to do is score the thicker part of the fish on both sides. I'm happy you left the other part back at the restaurant, actually. There's <laughs> just something you about eating a fish when it's looking would. at you. I tell you, I you guys know. have got to get over this. But I it's know, smiling I at you. I want the head. I don't want those it's, eyes looking it's at me. Food. It's food. I know. Food, exactly. yeah, I know. The whole fish is awesome. We take a little rosemary, it stick it inside. Good now. The incisions that we've made, we'll take a couple of stalks or two. We'll season it with just a little oh, that's fleur de sel. Can you just feed the fish rosemary? <laughs> you could do that. <laughs> yes. You could do that too. You know, there you go. And, and then when he's done. Into the pan <laughs> she goes. Beautiful. Very nice. Now all we want to do, thank you very much, is we will cook this down so the skin becomes nice mm. and crisp on both oh, sides. The same sort of thing where you have a super all hot right. pan. 
Do you it, want the super hot pan? You want it reasonably so hot. This okay. could, could have been a little hotter. What you could do is fry it off on both sides. A piece of fish about this thickness, I would say you're looking at uh, three minutes on both sides. Okay. Then you can just pop it into the oven. Good. And then that way you ensure that it is fully cooked through. Yeah. So let me just uh, give this a little flip. And you can see it's starting to brown up quite nicely oh, yeah. here. But it doesn't take too, too long. And if the fish was a, 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 a original 10 or 12 ounce, it would cook that much quicker. Right. Once our beans okay. have cooked. So an hour and a half of miraculously just. An hour and a half just of TV time by. has just gone by. by. Yeah. Look at then that. This is what you end up with uh, looking like. It's, it's the beautiful beans cooked down. That's great. We've got the carrots, we've got the onions, we've got the bacon. You can see the sprigs of rosemary, uh, the, yes, rosemary in there. Yeah. That is almost a meal unto its own. Yeah, it is, right, actually. Guys? Absolutely. That, a piece mm. of crusty bread, a nice piece of cheese, absolutely Hamlet. delicious. Yeah. You, you said the magic word, word you said bread. A bread, exactly <laughs> That's right. That's a good thing. Exactly right. Beautiful. Okay, Flip so your fish is looking good. Over. I'm going to throw out another rosemary uh, fact. Because how that. much do you guys know about rosemary? Do you know Everything that it, there is. It, do you know that it improves your memory? But I didn't remember that. But was that, that, <laughs> that, can, that can only be false. You need more, you need more rosemary is what you need. Okay, and for the Catholics out there, this is very interesting. Oh Virgin Mary, <laughs> yeah, I'm going there. Virgin Mary is said to have spread her blue cloak over a rosemary bush when she was resting, making the white blossom bush turn blue, and that's why it's known as the Rose of Mary. Oh, so you really? get a little history oh, really? too. You get a you recipe, do. you get a little history. There you go. There you, there you do. go. Wow. That's why it's called rosemary. Very good. Hmm. To finish off my dish, I take a little lemon. Always squeeze good with it your over fish. the top. Yep. The rest goes on the plate. You stand back now. This could be splatter a little bit. Where's the You're adding tomato, tomato and olives. And olives. Nice. You gotta toss around. I'll be over here. That's it, boys. <laughs> <laughs> Well, we need to see the dish. <laughs> All of a sudden, we're in Milan over here. There's fog everywhere. Just like they do, just like they do in the Mediterranean, I tell you. <laughs> exactly like that. Okay, so uh, the Look final result is, is gorgeous. absolutely gorgeous. Add a little bit, so a few more herbs. We've got it on our website, cityline.ca. What do you awesome. think, guys? Where's the tower? Good. So Give them a big hand. Yeah. Absolutely. That's very nice. Let's <laughs> put a break. That's beautiful. <laughs>